Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. I guess this is a problem that says if rope BC will fail when the tension becomes 50 kN, determine the greatest vertical load F that can be applied to the, to the beam at B. What is the magnitude of the reaction at A with this loading and neglect the thickness of the beam? Okay guys, so let's draw, actually our free body diagram is, is almost completely built. All you have to draw is the tension, let's call it this tension, T, and this is equal to 50 kilonewtons. And then we have the reactions at A. So I'm gonna draw a reaction going up. I'm gonna call this F of A in the Y and a reaction going to the right, which is F of A in the X. So what are we trying to find? We're trying to find F of A in the X, F of A in the Y, and F. So we have two, two uh, variables that are happening at A, so a good place to start would be doing the sum of the moments about A assuming counterclockwise is positive, is equal to zero. That way we eliminate those two and we can find that. So, from A, right here, we have the, the moment created by this 26 kilonewton force, which is 26 kilonewtons, uh, but only the Y component is generating a moment, the X component, which is this one, is not generating a moment, the Y component is given by 12 over 13 times 26 kilonewtons because of this triangle. And you have to multiply by the distance from the forces applied to A, which is two meters. Then um, the force created by F, which is F, oh, sorry, I forgot to say this is negative because it's going clock, it's trying to turn the whole structure clockwise. Um, F is going straight down, so it's all of it is generated in a moment, and you got to multiply it by 6, which is the distance from where F is applied to A, from B to A, and it's also negative because it's trying to turn the unit clockwise. And then we have the 50 kilonewton tension, which has two components, a component going up and a component going to the right. Only the component going up is generated in a moment, and that component is given by 50 kilonewtons times 3 over 5 and then you have to multiply it by what the point that it is applied which is the same as before which is 6 and it's positive because it's trying to turn the structure that way so as you can see from this equation we only have one variable which is f so if we simplify this this is 0 minus 48 minus 6f plus 180, and if you solve for F, you should get that F is equal to 22 kilonewtons. So now that we found F, we have to find the reactions at A, which should be pretty easy. Sum of the forces in the X is equal to zero, which is equal to F of A in the X, which is going to the right, minus the X component of this 26 kilonewton force, which is 26 kilonewtons times 5 over 13. And the X component, which is this of the tension, which comes out to be 50 kilonewtons times 4 over 5, going to the right, so it's plus. So if you solve for F of A of X, you're going to get that it is equal to negative 30 kilonewtons. The fact that it's negative, it means that I didn't guess right when I drew the free body diagram. So it means that instead of going to the right, I drew it going to the right, so f of a of x is equal to 30 kilonewtons, but it is going to the left, okay? So, oops, oops, it's actually, okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna draw it on the diagram, but it's going to the left, it's not going to the right. That's basically what it means for it to be negative. Then the last step, which is the sum of the forces in the y, is equal to zero, and it's equal to f of a in the y minus 
the y component of this 26 kilonewton force which is 26 kilonewton studs 12 over 13 minus f plus the y component of the tension which is 50 kilonewtons times 3 over 5. We have uh, f of, no actually we have f, we found it right here so we are going to plug that in right here and we're going to solve for f of a and when you do you should get that f of a y is equal to 60 kilonewtons. So final answer for f final answer for f of a of x, remember it's going to the left, and final answer for f of a y.